we have a tooth that is deemed non-restorable. I think we all agree that this tooth is non-restorable. Uh, the patient's in pain, the patient comes in, and we want to remove this tooth. So how do we do this, doctors? What's the best way to remove this tooth? You can see the older implant crown in the back that was done somewhere. And we want to remove this tooth without damaging the adjacent implant or crown and the adjacent uh, worn teeth. So I'm going to uh, use a technique that I demonstrated earlier. We're going to make a purchase point, place our beak onto the, the uh, lingual aspect, put the bumper as far down the vestibule as possible. And you can see in this situation, they have a very shallow vestibule. The rotate my wrist towards the shoulder. In a matter of a minute or so, this tooth will pop. We'll take my tooth delivery instrument and remove the tooth in total. I'm going to create, curette the socket. I'm going to remove any granulation tissue, any purple blood. Red blood is great. Purple blood is bad. So curette, curette, curette the socket. And this is what the osteogen plug looks like. It almost looks like a piece of chalk. It is malleable to some degree, and it can be cut. Um, there's two sizes, a, a, a thick and a skinnier one. And I'm simply taking this product to the site and I'm pushing. And what's unique about this product, as it absorbs blood, it takes the shape of the socket itself. Wonderful product. And here I'm just placing it to the crestal height, and I'm going to suture it. Now, you can see I did not put a membrane. And what's unique about this product is because of the, the compilation of it and because of the matrix, um, I don't need a membrane. The epithelium will not grow into it, so to speak. It'll grow over the top of it. It's a very, very special product. This is what the socket site looks like immediately after placement. You can see it's, it's radio-opaque. Um, but over a period of time, in four months or so, you can see how that socket starts to heal. It heals from the apex. It goes to the apex, and it, it's starting to heal up to the crest. We have good epithelium. And again, this is not an implant uh, course per se, but we're going to um, uh, make our, our osteotomy site using the Han tapered burrs. You can see we're harvesting blood, and I actually did histologic evaluations um, of this material, and we do have um, bone formation uh, in this plug. Remember, anything we put in there is replaced by the patient's own blood. We're idealizing the placement using the osteotomy burr. And this is the design of the implant that Dr. Hahn can discuss in a few moments. Uh, it's a very, it has a very aggressive threads. We're threading it into the socket. And here we've torqued our implant in at 45 Newton centimeters on a site that had been grafted very, very predictably. Uh, immediate placement, flapless placement. There's very little bleeding. All of you out here, out there, can, can do these type of procedures. Your patients want you to do these type of procedures for them. So I challenge you to get involved, to learn uh, techniques in extraction and grafting and eventually implants. For those of you who are not placing implants, we have some wonderful courses that Kurt can describe to you um, a little bit later. The implant is placed, the healing abutment is placed, and we can restore that in the future. So I think we can all agree, you can do this, um, and it's probably the most basic grafting techniques, better than doing nothing.